everyone welcome back to another one of my videos so recently I have been asked this question by a few of my grade 10 students who are keen to learn beyond the scope uh, of their syllabus so they've been browsing the internet when reviewing about calculating enthalpy changes of reactions and they found two seemingly contradicting formulae one is that delta H equals to the standard enthalpy of formation of products minus reactants. And another is delta H equals the bond energy of reactants minus products. So which is it? Product minus reactant or reactant minus products? The answer is both formulae are correct. Enthalpy of formation is not the same as bond energy and therefore cannot be interchanged. The standard enthalpy of formation is a measure of the energy released or consumed when one mole of a substance is created under standard conditions from its pure elements, whereas bond energy is the amount of energy required to break apart a mole of molecules into its component atoms. So let's go over an example of how to use the standard enthalpy change of formation for calculating the standard enthalpy change of a reaction. The delta H formation of benzene, carbon dioxide, and water are given. How about oxygen? Well, according to the definition above, Standard enthalpy of formation is a measure of energy released or consumed when one mole of substance is created from its pure elements. Now, oxygen is already an element and is not formed from any other simpler elements. So the standard enthalpy formation of elements is zero. So if the standard enthalpy of formation of benzene is positive 49, it means when one mole of benzene is formed, 49 kilojoule of energy is absorbed. The formation of benzene is endothermic. When carbon dioxide is formed, 394 kilojoule is released. And when one mole of water is formed, 286 kilojoule of energy is released. Now look at the reaction equation. In this reaction, benzene is a reagent. So it's not going to be formed, but it's going to be broken. So if 49 kilojoule of energy is absorbed when one mole of benzene is formed, how much energy is involved to convert benzene back to its elements, carbon and hydrogen? The answer is 49 kilojoule is now released. Negative 49. So because benzene is a reagent, we invert the sign of the enthalpy change of formation. Because benzene is not going to be formed, but it's going to be broken into its elements. The sign for enthalpy change of formation of carbon dioxide and water remain the same. Because they're going to be formed as products. So now the enthalpy change of combustion of benzene is just the total of all the enthalpies of formation which are these numbers we multiply the formation of carbon dioxide by six because we have six carbon dioxide and multiply the enthalpy change of formation of water by three because we're forming three moles of water this will give us a total of negative 3,271 kilojoule per mole, which means that when one mole of benzene is combusted, 3,271 kilojoule of energy is released. We can also think of it as a vector. All these substances are made of their elements in standard states, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. By standard states, it means at 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius. So then draw arrows to represent the formation of benzene, carbon dioxide, and water.
we need carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And then we have to balance the equations. Enthalpy change of formation of benzene is 49. Formation of carbon dioxide is negative 394. And you have 6 of those, so times 6. And the enthalpy change of formation of water is negative 286. And we have 3 of those. Okay, write down all the enthalpy of formation values. Now imagine we want to get from this point to this point, but we want to take the long way. So we have three spots here. A, B, and C. We want to go from A to B, but we are taking a detour to C. So we have to start at A and then go to C and then go to B. All right. So we need to reverse this arrow. Okay. We are already at this point, the reactant point, but we want to go to the product. So we reverse the arrow go that way. If we reverse the arrow, we also reverse the sign. Now we have negative 49 kilojoule per mole. So the enthalpy change of combustion of benzene is just negative 49 plus 6 times negative 394 plus 3 times negative 2 Eight, seven. And that's exactly the same as what we did before. Now with bond energies, we have to first write the balance reaction equation showing the bonds of the substances. Next, we need to remember that the bonds of the reagents need to be broken before new products can be formed. Bond breaking is endothermic, and we have one triple bond N and three hydrogen hydrogen bonds. So we require a total energy of 945 plus 3 times 436, that makes 2253 kilojoule. And we keep the sign positive as bond breaking is endothermic. It absorbs energy. On the reactant side, we have a total of six nitrogen-hydrogen bonds, which means six times 391. And that gives us a total of 2,346. And we keep the sign negative because bond forming is exothermic. Energy is being release. Finally, total up the value to get the enthalpy change of the reaction. Delta H of this reaction is negative 93 kilojoule. Now look at the balance reaction again. Negative 93 kilojoule is released when two moles of ammonia is produced. Now, if you are asked for the enthalpy of formation of ammonia, remember, by definition, the enthalpy formation of a substance is the energy involved in the formation of one mole of that substance. This will be negative 93 kilojoule divided by 2 mole, which is negative 46.5 kilojoule per mole for the enthalpy change of formation of ammonia. That's it guys. Thank you so much and please like and subscribe.